Hi everybody, this video demonstrates how easy it is to install the Linguino OpenWRT based firmware onto this small uh, wireless router from TP-Link, the TL-WR703N, uh, starting from the original Chinese firmware. Uh, so let's describe my setup here. I have an Ubuntu 12-04 LTS Linux distribution and I'm using the um, uh, Google Chrome browser, but Actually, it doesn't depend in, uh, on the operating system or on the browser, so it can be a Mac or a PC or um, whatever browser you want. Uh, on this side here, I will just use um, a, a serial terminal emulator because uh, uh, I used a small USB uh, TTL uh, UART converter uh, that I soldered onto the PCB of my, my router, so uh, you can get an inside view and see what's under the hood when you do things so it's just a convenience here but it's not mandatory at all just to uh, follow what's going on on the screen okay so let's proceed to the installation uh, uh, hardware wise my setup is uh, i just have the, the router connected using the ethernet uh, port uh, to my pc and i'm using the uh, uh, small micro usb to uh, power the, the device uh, I attach it to one of my free USB ports, but it can be a wall plug, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I will plug in and set the power and launch the serial console. You see that at the beginning you have the U-boot uh, bootloader that will start a Linux kernel because even the, the original uh, Chinese firmware from TP-Link is based on Linux and that's one of the reasons why uh, they had to release everything under GPL, uh, all the, the sources they modified and the GPL, all that uh, uh, that they, they took, and they did that on their on their side. Okay, so at one point you see uh, uh, the the router will set up both uh, a wide Ethernet uh, connection with a DHCP server and also uh, an access point, a wireless access point with this SSID uh, TP dash link underscore and these are the six last digits from the MAC address that is uh, written uh, onto a small label on the back of the of, of the router. On this small label you also have the, the uh, IP address to use to connect to the uh, web interface and the uh, user login and password so you have all the information everything that is not in Chinese on this label is very important. Okay, so and uh, you can see ex externally if you don't have a console, you can see that the router is ready to uh, to uh, to accept things because the LED is flashing slowly. So let's connect to it uh, using a DHCP Ethernet. Okay, and as mentioned onto the label, I have to connect to the 192.168.1.1. And I'm prompted with a, a username and password that is also written on this small label, which is admin and admin. And you get access to a Chinese-only web interface. Uh, it's possible to uh, change that if you uh, patch uh, the firmware, but we are not interested in that. We just want to replace it. So let's go directly to the place where you can change, upgrade the firmware. So that's the last item in the left menu which is a uh, date time config rpm dot htm and we are interested in the third uh, sub menu which is software upgrade rpm dot htm and here you have uh, like a fake uh, dialog box with uh, a file browser a text field with a, a browsing button and what we are interested in is, is this one which is the open wrt dash ar 71xx dash linguino dash tl dash wr 703 n dash v1 dash quashfs dash factory da bin uh, this is the factory and not the upgrade because we are upgrading from the factory firmware so that's the one we need and this is just an open wrt that's the architecture which is an ateros 71xx chip and linguino it's a, a target that's the name of my distribution and tl dash wr 703 n dash v1 that's the hardware and squashfs here is the file system we are using for writing uh, data onto the, the flash memory okay that, so that's new this one let's take it i just have to press on the um, uh, bottom left button here and accept uh, flashing okay and okay you see it's already transferred and uh, actually uh, it's 
writing into flash memory quite slowly compared to the OpenWRT flashing process, but I don't know, maybe they're making more uh, checks or whatever. But in the meantime, the, the uh, progress bar is just empty. So it's starting at 20,000, let's go to uh, 3,000 if I remember well. So we are about halfway there. Um, but still, it's not moving at all. But at one point, uh, when we reach the, the end, you will see that it stopped moving when it's re actually rebooting. Okay. We still have some uh, blocks to go. So that's one thing why the uh, the console is interesting, but it's not mandatory. You just have to wait. And okay, here we go. You see, it's starting to move now, while it's actually shutting down everything, uh, killing all processes, and launching the U-boot bootloader here. And okay, it's starting to launch the uh, our Linguino Linux kernel. And at one point, we have a stop for one second or so, where you can press the F key and enter if you have a console to enter the face safe mode, or you can just press also on a small reset reset button while the LED is flashing during the boot process. So you have access to a, 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 a face safe mode where you can restore things if in case you broke everything. Okay, so. Um, here we are, we are almost there, and as you can see, uh, we have both uh, 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 a, a, link, a link which is uh, Ethernet, and also we set up a wireless network at the same time. Do we see that? Okay, that's finished here. And as we uh, set the Linguino to exactly the same address uh, at the end of the, 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 the progress bar, it will automatically redirect to the right page, uh, which is the, the main uh, login page for the web admin for Linguino. And uh, as you can see, there is no password set, so, uh, but uh, it doesn't accept a, a blank username and password, so you just have to type exactly the same username and password as mentioned on the label, uh, which is admin and admin, and login. So this is the main status page for the web admin uh, for Linguino, but at the top there is a, a small uh, warning saying that there is no password set, so uh, that's probably the first thing to do is to go there and to set up a, a password on your own. So you just have to type in twice the same one. Uh, there are some checks for, for that. Okay, and go down, scroll down and save and apply. Okay, so you see that's dynamic, uh, it's changing and Okay, the password is set, and now the uh, warning at the top is changed to there is no network defined. So that's the second step uh, that you should uh, perform uh, while installing the, the router. So let's go there directly. It's like a guided uh, installation. So you see there is already a, a, a running uh, a one uh, wireless network uh, because you, you can access the, 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 the Linguino by default both from Ethernet and wireless, but let's join our my home network. So I scan for all the available networks. And okay, this is the first one here. So I'd say just join. You have web or WP. It doesn't matter. This one is web, so uh, I know it's bad, but okay. And while you don't have the right number of characters, the the dots are red and they turn black when it's okay. You don't have to change anything here and just say submit. And you can tweak a little bit the, the things. Like uh, uh, you have to, you can adapt the the uh, radio channels used depending on based on your country regulation. So for me, it's fine. So I just change that. That's not mandatory, but I recommend to do that and save and apply. And here you see that at, you see that there are things changing. Like the channels moved, changed a little bit. So, and we actually are associated with my home network. So it's still configuring a few things like for firewall rules and everything, but it doesn't take a while. Okay, configuration applied. And we can check that everything is working by going into network and diagnostics and do a ping on OpenWRT by, by default, that's, uh, that's okay. It should work, okay, and a trace route 
okay and let's look up everything is working so the only thing um, left to do is uh, as by default the Linduino is making a bridge between the LAN and one between the Ethernet and the wireless network uh, so you get the same 192.161.8.1.1 address on both interfaces we can break this bridge that is no longer uh, required so let's go to edit that's not mandatory but uh, I would recommend to do that and then physical settings and uncheck the bridge interface box here save and apply so it should restart the network of course doesn't change anything for okay we are again associated on it and okay firewall and here we go last thing to do is to uh, go into system system and we will change the host name to uh, something this is the host name here uh, it can be anything but uh, okay let's change it to uh, uh, this and set the time zone so as in France it's in Europe and Paris and save and apply all right you have the right time here and it's dynamic as you can see and we are all set and uh, here we have the Linguino uh, banner and um, the router is, uh, is set up correctly and ready to go. So this video was demonstrating how to uh, install the Linduino OpenWT based firmware on the TL-WR703 wireless router from TP-Link starting from the original Chinese firmware. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.